Today's unpopular opinion on Reddit is. The Constitution should be set in stone. Now that we have fulfilled the promise of the Declaration of Independence that all men are created equal, where it is now illegal to discriminate based on race, sex, etc. we've reached a golden age of freedom. We've reached the peak of liberty and prosperity. From this point on it can only get worse. The most free man in the world can only become less free from that point on, and we as a society have reached that point and are now on the way back down. I fear that in the future, new laws will be made and the constitution will be changed so that you will now be able to discriminate based on race. To prevent this outcome, our constitution, the Declaration of Independence and the Bill of Rights should be set in stone never to be changed again. Constitutions are meant to be amended over time. Kind of a double negative because the ability to change it is in it, so to set it in stone would mean either removing that part which would be changing it or setting in stone that it's not set in stone. That would be undemocratic. Freedom inevitably leads to the choice to lose that freedom. A society might be free for longer if they don't have the choice of whether or not they get to be free. They're always free regardless if they don't want to be. Do you see the irony in that last sentence? Besides, who are you to unequivocally state we're peaked at freedom and we can't get any freer over time? Besides besides, what if there's a needed change in the constitution that doesn't concern freedom but something different? Such as what? And what could you add that would make us more free than we are now? You have to evaluate the risks of losing what we have already. The right to digital privacy for starters, that's not codified in the constitution. Or how about in the far future, the right to replace your body parts by machine parts? Or the right to genetically enhance your babies? Or the right to your own mind when it's ultimately uploaded into the clouds? A lot of technological advancements seem to be shifting away from personal freedom and privacy, it needs legislation to protect it. Fixing the constitution wouldn't be helping with that. Is freedom without choice even freedom though? It is to the individual. I fear that a document meant to be changed will change and no longer fit my interests. What op really means? Yes, more or less. The document represents freedom. What's the point of using it to take that away? You're literally taking away freedom by asking for its death. I guess we have different views of what freedom is. I believe in individual freedom that's guaranteed by rights. I guess your definition of freedom is the freedom of a society to change. So how does your individual freedom outrank mine? From my perspective, everyone is born with basic individual rights. It is immoral for those basic rights to be taken away without just cause. Once we are at peak freedom there's no reason to change the constitution because you can only become less free. Again. We. Are. Not. At. Peak. Freedom. Peak freedom would mean legally all rights are equal. Gay marriage, all races paid the same all genders paid the same. Peak freedom means you can marry anyone you want, you can pay people however much you want. This is peak freedom, not peak equity. No, that's not freedom. As you keep putting it that's infringement on others' rights. You defeated your own argument. No. Slavery would be infringing on someone's rights. Paying two different people different wages for similar or different jobs isn't. If they agree to work for a certain amount then you're not infringing on their rights. That's a free transaction. They're freely selling their labor. How is that infringing on anyone's rights at all? To prevent this outcome, our constitution, the Declaration of Independence and the Bill of Rights should be set in stone never to be changed again. So like fuck the other 17 amendments? From this point on. We're at the peak of freedom right now. But I don't think we've reached the peak of freedom. What amendment would you add? I don't know, but I'm sure in 50 years someone smarter than me will think of something. That's the beauty of amendments. When they were writing the constitution, I could almost guarantee they wouldn't have thought of adding all the things we have. The founding fathers saw nothing wrong with slavery. It wasn't until the 13th amendment that slavery was abolished. They also didn't think that women should be able to vote. Not to mention, these people who wrote it were human. They weren't gods who knew exactly how to run a country for hundreds of years. Heck, Hamilton wrote and published a document detailing his affair in excruciating detail, the Reynolds pamphlet, Washington had to ban snacks during cabinet meetings, B.C. Jefferson would eat mac and cheese, not to mention that Washington's mouth was filled with teeth that were pulled from slaves' mouths. These were people who had faults. And while I agree that they were intelligent and knew what they were doing at that time, that was 300 years ago. There's so much that has gone on since then that something that outdated shouldn't be held as a supreme document gifted to us by the gods. 
We need to think critically of everything around us, only then will we start achieving what we need to in this day and age. This post is the opposite of what the founding fathers would have wanted. The fact that the Constitution is a living document is part of the reason why the West has been able to develop and change for the betterment of all people. Sadly, I think you've missed the mark when you say that every person in the US is equal. I think the state of the US today reflects that reality. We still have a long way to go before true equality for all is reached. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for tomorrow's unpopular opinion.